Here are the best six positions for a workout that tone the tummy, buttocks, and arms. It's no secret that getting sexually aroused uses up a lot of energy, but some moves can help you get in shape. An expert told people what they need to do between the sheets to get in shape while they're getting wild. The best sex positions to do if you are trying to lose weight have been revealed by experts. These positions will help you tone your legs, buttocks, abs, and arms. It's said that up to 45% of Brits think of sex as a workout, and 1 in 4 Brits between the ages of 18 and 44 say they keep track of their heart rate, and the number of calories they burn when they're making out. Most Brits think that being a doggy, 31%, a cowgirl, 22%, or a missionary, 21%, is the sexiest position. Now, an expert has told us the best ways to have sex to tone your abs, glutes, chest, and legs. Research shows that having sex is like light to moderate exercise for our bodies, so it's not only fun but also good for our health. Brand of sex toys and underwear worked with two sex and fitness experts to find out how you can make the most of your romps. To use different muscles and get your heart rate up so you can burn calories. Ness Cooper, a sexologist, says that sexual activity is a great way to burn calories. He says that you don't need to have a long and intense session because passionate kissing, which burns about two calories per minute by itself, could end up burning just as many calories as some less intense 15-minute exercise programs burn. The best ways to get different muscle groups to work during sex. Most sex positions burn calories and work your abs in some way, but some are better than others for toning certain body parts. Julia Kotsayamani and Ness Cooper, who are both experts in sex, chose the best positions based on which muscle groups you want to work. Abdominals most sex positions, from the crunch to the doggy or missionary plank, will affect your abs at some point. Through the different thrusts and grinds, you will work your core. Try the love tug, heart to heart, looking glass, and pelvic pike to work your abs. Glutes There are different ways to squat that work the glutes well for both men and women. This includes the cowgirl position and the bridge for women. These are great places to put toys, especially ones that shake. Try the concertina pose, the yogi pose, the liberated lover pose, and the kanga u pose to work your glutes, shoulders and the chest. Doggy style, or the wheelbarrow, is the obvious position here because you support your body weight with your arms and chest. But standing poses and missionary style positions are great for people with penises or who wear strap-ons because they support part of their partner's body. Try on your marks, nose dive, trick, or, ow, treat, and saddle up to work your chest and shoulders. Legs When you want to work your legs hard, standing is the best position. In these positions, you will have to use all the muscles in your legs to move in and out of your partner or to stay still if you are the one being moved. Adding the weight of your partner to the equation will also make the exercise harder. Try holding on to the tight, hot squat, flying high, and a leg up to work your legs. Obviously, the more intense and longer the sex, the more calories will be burned. Interval training, in which your heart rate goes up quickly, is the best way to get a hard workout. Now some tips for you. When you have steamy sex sessions with women, here are 5 ways to make sure they hit the big O every time. When it comes to sex, men and women have different levels of pleasure. Women can take longer to get to the big O, but there are ways to make sure that when they do, they are happy. When it comes to sex, men and women have different levels of pleasure. Even though it can take longer for a woman to hit the big O and she may need more stimulation, there are things you can do to make sure she is fully satisfied when you get frisky. According to new research from www.lovehoney.com, the average person has their first orgasm between the ages of 18 and 25. In fact, 36% of the people who answered the survey said they had their first climax between these ages. Even so, it's known that women have a harder time getting to orgasm than men do. 
A survey found that 65% of women don't orgasm from masturbation until they're over 18, and 41% don't have their first orgasm through sex until they're between 18 and 25. I found the top 5 ways for women to get an orgasm. This was done to help people improve their chances of getting the best pleasure. Among the results are Clitoral stimulation, 39% Penetrating sex, 24% Masturbating, 15%. 9% are sex toys. Oral sex, 8%. Certified sex educator Jave Fry Necrosova Med says that people who aren't sure which of the above ways is best for them should take more time to get to know their bodies. She told me, orgasms can happen when the body is stimulated in many different ways, so just because one way doesn't work doesn't mean there's something wrong. It takes a lot of experimentation with your own body to figure out what makes you feel good enough to have an orgasm. Only 24% of women get an orgasm from penetrating sex, while almost half of men do. 37% of lesbians and 44% of gay people had their first orgasm with a partner before they turned 18. Only 30% of heterosexual people had their first orgasm before they turned 18. Gender is just one of many things that can affect whether or not we orgasm during sex. Studies have shown that 95% of men reach climax most of the time or always during sex, but only 65% of women do. Nearly half of the men who took Love Honey's survey said that penetrative sex is their favorite way to orgasm, but only 24% of the women and 10% of the non-binary people said the same. The most popular way for women to get an orgasm was found to be clitoral stimulation. Almost 40% of women said this is how they usually get an orgasm. Previous research has shown that only 18% of women can orgasm just by being penetrated, so it's not surprising that most of them chose clitoral stimulation as the best way to reach their peak. To try to close the orgasm gap, which is when women don't reach orgasm as often as men do during sex, it's important to have good sex education and open communication. Fry Nekrasova added, The first thing to do to close the orgasm gap is to teach everyone about the human body, in all of its different forms, and how to stimulate different parts.